It's another notebook check tech review and in this one we've got the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL. Here it is here and um, we're going to be giving you the full score, the breakdown, some information on battery life, screen and the camera as well. Uh, hopefully about 10 minutes long this video that we're shooting in a new setup here in uh, co-working studio in Bonn. We've got uh, one, two, three cameras, our new close-up camera which I hope is going to be useful. And uh, also going to give you some information from the full review through the screen grabber that I've got running on the Surface Pro 3 to the right. I'm going to upload a video about the uh, studio, by the way, show you around the studio, the sort of lamps I'm using, the setup I'm using. Now that I'm starting to get happy with the setup and I feel it's probably worth pointing out what we're using and how we're using it. But anyway, back to the Microsoft Lumia 950XL, the rather large Windows 10 showcase phone from Lumia with the, yes, it worked, the Retina uh, Windows Hello function. So it will actually recognize your eyes. It takes a little bit of time actually to sort of recognize it and I find it has to be closer than it should be. Uh, it feels a little bit awkward having it walking along with your phone close to your face. But of course you've got pin unlock as well that you can use. Whether that's more useful than the fingerprint unlocks for, for example, the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact uh, and Standard and Premium that we've already tested remains to be seen. I think actually the thumb fingerprint sensor is probably some use, more useful in some situations. But then, of course, if you're holding gloves, that is useful in other situations as well. So uh, quickly going to the specs, uh, we've got the German review up now. We haven't got the full translation for English done yet, but that will go up on notebookcheck.net very soon. Take a look. We've got high-end uh, specifications here on a 5.7-inch screen with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. And the 810 enables our Continuum function. Uh, link there. There's a video about Continuum with the 950 XL. Don't forget to check that out. It's quite interesting. Uh, 13 watt hour battery, 12.9, uh, 32 gigs of RAM inside. And as I mentioned, we've got Windows 10 on here. AC Wi-Fi LTE up to 300 uh, megabits per second down. We've got an SD card reader, and that will take micro SD cards up to 200 gigs. Uh, it's a 20 megapixel camera with uh, um, optical stabilization, it's triple LED flash, and... Uh, I do believe it's got the good audio quality, although it's not listed in our specs. I believe we've got the high-end audio quality that Lumia's, for example, the 925, the 1020 had, which was really nice for recording high-volume uh, sound. There's some more about the spe specification. So it's currently, this model, 699. I'm looking around, there's a 599 euro model available as well, uh, and that's probably the street price now that uh, this one's going for. Right, let's uh, have a quick look at the device and um, let's uh, just turn that little uh, lamp on there. Got the lamp on? One second. Right, let's have a little look around the device. It is a, a plastic covered device. So for high-end device, 600 euros, plastic cover. It feels quite nice, nice though, hard polycarbonate and probably fairly... Uh, bump resistant as well so it's not going to get scratched too easily like maybe a metal surface would or a glass surface could get uh, smashed as well but it doesn't feel like a really high-end premium uh, smartphone it feels light for the size and uh, certainly nice and well built all around there's no uh, problems no creaking no cracks you take the back off by let me get the right corner by where is the there's a little indent there it is so quite a strange way to take the back off on this, but this looks like the whole phone, the front's gonna come off the phone, but I don't really like this, the way it does that. And that's the way it comes apart. So you get your micro SD card slot and your um, nano SIM card slot behind there. There's an NFC receiver and charging receiver. It'll do wireless charging as well. So let's just put that back on there. I have to put the Sides with the volume in first. Oh, probably best to get it around the right way first. And then that snaps in quite easily. So the buttons there, they're fairly sharp feeling, but they're uh, a nice nice feel to them. And the uh, camera button there is multi-stage, two-stage uh, camera button. And that can be used uh, for quick, quick capturing. More details on the camera 
in a minute. Now I could tell you about uh, Windows 10, um, but things are gonna change uh, quickly. A couple of months after this video has been made, then Windows 10 might try and change dramatically. It's all about knowing whether the applications you require are in the Windows Store. Um, most of the applications that I require are in there, so I was pretty happy with it, and I was very happy that it migrated everything from my 830 through stuff that was saved in the cloud to have um, a very easy setup. Um, the only things I'm missing really are Periscope, which I've started to use here in the studio to, to do some sort of uh, previews of the reviews, but uh, that's about it. We've got Instagram, I've got a Pinterest app called Pin It, and uh, Flipboard, Facebook, Twitter, TuneIn, everything's, everything's there that I expect. And in fact, uh, Windows 10 is nice and easy to use, nice and simple and straightforward. And um, I don't have any complaints personally about Windows 10, but that's up to you. You read the reviews on Windows 10 mobile, see what you think. Uh, it's really about the apps, really. So in terms of sizing, take a look at this uh, interactive graph on our website here. There is the uh, 950XL. Let's just put the 6S Plus on top of that, and you'll see that that's just slightly longer than the um, 950XL. So they're pretty much uh, exactly the same dimensions. If we go to the Galaxy 6 um, S6 Edge, you'll see that's uh, quite a bit uh, smaller. And then the standard Xperia Z5 is also a little bit smaller. The premium is about the same size as this 950XL. So as you'd expect, the camera is uh, pretty good. I've been testing it out of the, over the last uh, 48 hours. I've done some uh, Full HD videos. It will do 4K videos as well. And uh, the speed, the quality, the flash is pretty good. I have one query about the positioning of the uh, audio mics. Uh, when I was doing video, uh, somehow I was touching a microphone input at one point uh, or a microphone uh, hole at one point, and it gave a terrible noise on, on the video. So you need to find out where the microphone inputs are I actually don't know where they are whether they're on the back or this maybe they're on the back there's a couple of little couple of little holes there that might uh, might be the mic inputs I'm not sure but uh, yeah I need to find out where those are make sure you don't touch them more information on the camera though on our website including some test pictures and uh, we've got some test videos uh, color charts and a test chart as well which you'll be able to look at to uh, work out uh, quality in general though it's going to be acceptable for most people Unfortunately, we didn't have the display dock because this has a USB-C connector on the bottom here and it contains uh, the hardware that enables Continuum, which is the second screen feature of Windows Phone. You can mirror a display on Android to a projector. You can do PowerPoint presentations on that, but the apps don't scale properly. What happens on the Lumia, and you need to watch that video about, my, about uh, Continuum to, to understand what it does, Using universal apps, it will allow that full screen, that second screen to be used properly with a keyboard and mouse. And in fact, you can plug in a USB adapter here, plug in a Bluetooth um, keyboard and mouse or a RF a keyboard and mouse and just start getting, uh, start working away. I used it over Miracast, but you can get the Continuum dock for this as well, which gives you HDMI out and I think DisplayPort out as well. The only thing about the USB-C charging port, sorry, port is the charging. And if you forget that charger and at home you haven't got any USB-C devices, most houses at the moment won't have too many USB-C uh, chargers lying around, you're stuck. And that caught me out uh, two nights ago when I took the 950XL home from the studio and forgot to bring the power adapter. So that will change over time. I think in a year's time we won't be talking about problems with USB adapters, uh, pricing, availability, that sort of stuff. I think that uh, seems to be flowing into the market quite quickly and that problem will go away very quickly. I demoed Windows Hello, that's the other kind of key feature of uh, Windows 10 and the 950XL. Let's see if we can do that once more in, in front of the camera. It will be difficult, but uh, let's see if we can do that. Looking for you, making sure that it's you. Move closer, hello Steve. So I hope you saw that. That was uh, automatic unlock. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. If you're walking around, for example, and uh, I'll try and simulate that with my bouncy chair. Uh, okay, that worked, uh, but I've had situations where I've had to walking around, I'm ending up with the phone right here and, and they're saying move closer, move closer and I'm eventually going to fall over if you do that too many times. Um, so it's not perfect and as I said, um, it is an advantage. It should be more secure than a PIN number or a, 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 um, 
a shape code on the screen and uh, maybe more usable than anything that doesn't have a fingerprint reader. So the fingerprint readers on the iPhone and the, uh, the Sony uh, Xperia, for example, and the Samsungs uh, bring in that sort of capability as well. It's just a different way of doing it. Right, there's some information on the display for you. A subjective test tells me it is nice. It is certainly good enough for my eyes. A little bit older than many of you, I'm sure. But um, it's a reasonable screen. Actually have no problems with the colors and the brightness. But looking at the technical specs and our test results, you'll see that the brightness is 297. That's not super high, actually. But this is an AMOLED screen. So the contrast is close to infinity because those blacks truly really are black. There's nothing backlighting those at all. Um, so that makes quite a difference uh, to have this 300 plus this infinite, infinite contrast level makes a good uh, usability. Let's have a look at the color and grayscale accuracy. You'll see 2.67, 2.81. That's good. Anything below five is good. Uh, anything tending towards two and down to one is near perfect. And that's great to see that, uh, that there. Um, do note that with Windows 10, you can actually do color correction. So we have on our website there the ICC file from our uh, Calman measurements. Now that you could load into uh, Windows 10 to even improve that uh, further. I'm not sure in our tests if we did that. Um, haven't seen any evidence that we've actually done any uh, uh, calibration. But the 2.8 and the 2.67 are pretty good anyway. 66.31% of uh, Adobe. So not only are those colors accurate, it covers a big space of color as well. So that ends up to be a very good screen. More tests there uh, using different profiles on the uh, 950XL. Everything you want to know, including uh, pulse width modulation tests and display uh, reaction times as well is on the website. We've got the Snapdragon 810 inside, so performance is going to be pretty good here. And you can see on our website a lot of test results. Let's take out a couple of those. Octane, which is uh, obviously uh, oriented towards web browsing. 8059 uh, with the Z5, uh, Xperia Z5 also 8627 and of course the iPhone 6S Plus at the bottom there leading the pack with its uh, near 16,000 on that score but there's other uh, scores on there as well we've got uh, GFX Bench, uh, Basemark X and uh, what else is our ah, GFX Bench 3 11.81 frames per second on that iPhone 6S Plus ahead again you can't beat the iPhone 6S Plus. That is the big performer of the day. All right, I just scrolled down there to some um, load test temperature measurements that we took. Uh, maximum temperature there, 48.3 on the front, 45.8 on the back. Not too much of a problem there. Uh, you might find that under uh, use and charging at the same time, it's going to start to get warm, um, but that's not uh, too much of a problem uh, for most people. Average temperatures there, pretty good. Speakers front facing, so uh, it's a, a reasonable um, sound quality on that uh, and reasonably loud as well. If you look at the SPL uh, measurements we made, we're going from not, not deep, deep basses. There's nothing in terms of bass there. 500 hertz is where it starts and it goes all the way up to uh, an interesting 16, uh, 16 kilohertz there. So that's got some very high end capability. I couldn't hear that because Apparently, my ears at finish at 12 kilohertz now, so that's good to know. Um, battery life. Now, that's an important aspect of this. We have that 13 watt hour battery inside. Now, look at the uh, battery life uh, test results. Idle, 17 hours, 58 minutes. Well, that's really synthetic sort of uh, test. And uh, Wi-Fi surfing, 8 hours and 9 minutes um there are a couple of battery saving features here when the when you can set a battery saver mode when the device gets to x percent it will start stopping um the background data loading lower the brightness and do various things to try and save battery life as well video playback 10 hours 11 minutes now if you use a continuum uh maybe have a mirror cast uh, to a big screen you could turn this main screen off and you'll get a lot more than that but uh on its own screen, 10 hours and 11 minutes is not bad at all. There's that battery saver option there. You can set, set the settings there. And it's showing me now that uh, I've got about seven hours left off 36%. So that's uh, a, almost a 24 hour uh, charge cycle under my usage scenario here, which uh, has been fairly heavy today with videos 
and uh, testing of Continuum as well. Right, let's do the pros and cons of the Microsoft Lumia 950XL. If you've jumped to this part of the video and missed all the good stuff I put in between, well, at least give us a thumbs up, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications in your email box when we do a new video. Right, pros and cons are in German on the screen here, so let me translate those for you. Starting from the top, that's a speedy processor, Flutter SOC, a speedy processor. We've got uh, uh, ability to expand the storage, so that's that micro SD card slot up to 200 megabyte, uh, gigabytes. USB 3.1 on board and USB-C uh, as the connector, which gives you nice capabilities for adding external screens and external devices. AC Wi-Fi was good in our tests, uh, so that was good. And uh, of course, you've got the Windows Hello feature, a good GPS in here, and a prima cam camera, which means a very good camera. Uh, as I said, on the website, you'll find all our test results for the camera. But uh, my subject subjective testing here over the last 48 hours tells me, yes, it's a very good camera. You've got strong connectivity options on here, obviously with your Bluetooth, your NFC, and that USB port. Um, with on the go, effectively on the go support for, for external uh, devices. So that is pretty good there. Connectivity is excellent. And finally, the display, it is very true in terms of colors. It has a white uh, color space coverage. It's bright, it's got a fantastic contrast and it has a very good reaction time as well. So uh, if you want the details on the reaction time, check out the full review. We did measure some pulse width modulation being used to adjust the brightness on this screen. Whether that affects you or not is, uh, well, dependent on you. Check out the report. There's some tips and hints about whether this uh, PWM might affect you. Uh, and if you've had an experience with PWM on the Lumias, drop us a note in the uh, YouTube video or on our website so we can get your feedback on that. Uh, on voice quality, check out the full review. We didn't find it to be exceptionally good in uh, voice quality. And also, as I mentioned at the head of the review, it doesn't feel that yeah, that uh, high quality in terms of design. It doesn't look um, like a piece of jewelry, for example, uh, or a fashion item. Um, it looks like it's going to be a solid, sensible choice in terms of materials, but it certainly doesn't look uh, like it costs uh, five to six hundred euros, for example. Battery life, we have seen better battery life on some devices. Uh, Windows 10 doesn't seem to have as much tunability as, as some devices do. So, for example, uh, Z5 Premium, or the Z5 with the current Android operating system, has a lot of tweakability. You can stop certain apps in the background, for example. I think Windows 10 may be a little bit simpler in its battery life uh, capabilities there. Right, of course, Windows 10 apps in the store, there are things missing. There are holes there. And there's a couple of issues with Windows 10 you need to know about. And I want you to look at the full review for the details on the issues we had with Windows 10. My personal use of the last 48 hours was, has been fault-free, but I've been using the Lumia 830 with Windows 10 for many months. And maybe I'm just not seeing those issues anymore. Or maybe I'm just used to Windows 10. Uh, move closer. Hello, Steve. And of course, you've got that nice uh, Windows Hello feature. Right, that is the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope the setup here has been okay for you with our little zoom in cam. And uh, let me just give you a quick shot of what's going on here. That is the uh, studio we've got set up. I'll upload a video about the studio soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And we'll see you on the next Notebook Check Tech Review.